What's up everybody? Welcome, welcome back. I'm actually just gonna do uh, the, this video facing outwards so that way I can just show you. Um, this actually, this video is gonna be just uh, part two um, and I'll leave the part one of this video in the description. And um, these basically are my uh, my part two of my finds in the discount stores, meaning Ross, TG Maxx, uh, uh, Marshalls, etc. But mostly those three. Uh, those are the three I always go to. Those are the three I'm always hunting. There's probably a good dozen stores, discount stores around my area. I'm very fortunate to have those. I know I there's some um there they are. I mean there are people that left me um uh, some comments that you know they have like they don't have a lot in their area or if they do they suck. Which believe me I. Probably from half of those uh, uh, discount stores I go to, uh, half of them suck. I mean, they're the same old uh, you know, stories, same old fragrances, same old, uh, you know, so, but I bounce around. I, I do venture off up to the suburbs from the city. That's where I actually do find more better of fragrances, a little bit more, bit, uh, more selection, more um, uh, great deals. And But in the city, it's, it, unless if you don't go, if you if you do go in the morning, like around like where it's the busy uh, the busy uh, discount stores, if you go in the morning, you're guaranteed to find something because you find shit like all like replaced and like neat and nice and whatever. Because I think the night before they up they you know organize everything. So uh, and again, <clears throat> these right here, I'll I'll just um, Probably 80% of these I highly recommend or I just recommend you know, they're really good And there's some that I'm gonna highly recommend and then there's some that I'll uh, I'll tell you to Stay away from unless you know if they're only like you know, but anyway, but these these are anywhere between 10 to 20 bucks I think the most expensive one I have here uh, is about uh, I got it for about 30 bucks Which was well worth it compared uh, to the, uh, the retailers, okay? So, um, I'm just gonna start it off. There's not number one, number two, number three, whatever. So I'm gonna start off with this one. This is one I recently just got. I don't know if I did it in part one, but I, I got it at, uh, for real cheap. Uh, I think it was like 24 bucks, I believe. I'm not sure. This is uh, Mont Blanc uh, Legend Night. Uh, this is a uh, uh, hundred ml. This was a really good find. Um, they it, it it was in a um, it was for like forty fifty dollars, but uh, it came in like a gift set, and most of the gifts were missing. So it really it was marked down to twenty four dollars. It was it was filled. Really really good. Um, uh, um, summer. I mean I'm sorry, not summer. Uh, fall winter fragrance. Cooler night fragrance. All right. Uh, this one right here. Really good, highly recommend. This is your uh, Beverly Hills Polo Club uh, Blaze. I got it about for 12, 12 bucks, twelve ninety nine. This is, this resembles big time to uh, Spice Bomb, uh, Victor and Ralph. Really good find. Um, let me see what else. Uh, this is really good too. This was a one point seven. They have a, a one hundred ml, but I got this one for about fourteen bucks. This is um, this is a Periellus Red. 360 I think it's yeah, it's they call them 360 this right here it's you know you get like aqua de Gio vibes perform well between aqua de Gio. it's a really really good summer fragrance uh compliment getter uh big time uh I and I didn't use it I used it I, I made a pretty good dent in it but uh I have so many other fragrances that you know I don't I don't you know squeeze them out so that's that 14.99 let me see what else. Uh, this one right here, I talked about. Uh, if you go back in my other videos, this is another one. This re uh, resembles uh, and performs real good. It resembles um, uh, Black Orchid from Tom Ford. This is uh, Beverly Hills Polo Club Champion. They do make 100 ml, but I didn't see it yet. I saw it online, uh, but uh, I got this one for three, three, three. Yeah, there you go, three ninety nine. Uh, just you know, just for future videos comparison videos and whatnot. I, I don't personally wear it, but um, if the occasion is right, I would, you know, but this is more of like, um, you know, experiments and videos for the future. That's what, that's that. Um, Perry Ellis M. I got this one. This is 100 ml, $14.99. Here you go, Ross. Pretty good find. This is a really uh, uh, great uh, fragrance. I mean, it's uh, it's fairly fairly it performs real good it's uh, i mean it's 
it's fair. The performance is uh, uh, fair, you know. Uh, this one is a, more of a uh, fall, winter, spicy fragrance. Really good find. Uh, Perry LSM. This one right here, I don't really, I don't recommend. Don't get this one. I don't like it. Maybe some other people do, but for me, this is what I got it for fourteen ninety nine hundred ml. It's called Perry Men. It's part from Perry Ellis as well. I don't like this one. This one is just, I, I just, it's sitting in the back. I'm probably gonna use. This is what I call like a car fragrance. You can just leave it in the car, spray down your car or something you don't care about. Uh, you know, it's just one of those cheapies, whatever. So uh, and that was a blind buy too. So that which really sucked. This one right here is the most expensive one out of this. I think I got it for 45 bucks. This is the uh, 100 ml. This is uh, um, uh, Terry Mugler uh, from uh, Pure Coffee. I got this one for 35 bucks, which is still worth it. I mean, I think uh, I think Macy's was 80 bucks or some shit like that. Online, you can probably get it from the same price, if not cheaper. Um, uh, this is another one I highly recommend. This is a great, uh, really great fall and uh, winter fragrance. Uh, it's up there, you know, and really great performance, uh, really great smell. Compliment getter too as well. Shike Sock. You can either get the, uh, they, they, this one, I, I think I got it for 19 bucks. This is the 100 ml. But you can get, I seen the 200 ml bottle for, uh, for $29. Which you add another, another 10 bucks and you can get, uh, 29 and 30 bucks. You can get another, it's basically another free one for just 10 more dollars. Highly recommend this one. Um, let me see. Caroline Herrera 212. Now, I got this one. This is, uh, let me see, 1.7. I got this for about 24 bucks. I know I've seen them for uh, for a really, some ridiculous amount in the uh, discount stores. But again, I found it. It was just, I'm there so much, so constantly that I I either they're marked down or they're, you know, I don't know. I mean, just it, it varies. I mean, TJ Maxx, I know TJ Maxx, Marshalls are the same company. But uh, Ross, I think I got this from Ross, and uh, it was way cheaper than those two. So, I mean, Ross was a little, I mean, in the sense of this one right here. So, I got 24 bucks. This is really good. It's kind of dated. I don't know. It's really, I don't know. It's it's an office scent, but it's really, it's a spicy scent. I, I believe you could wear it during the hot uh, weather but i i mean i i can i can i think this one this could be a very versatile so this one if you see it it's kind of dated but it's really good it's passable it's 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 there you know so it's not for 24 bucks well worth it all right this one right here 14.99 i think i got it anywhere between 13 and 14 bucks highly recommend this this is this reminds me of um, you know, something like uh, Aqua Di Gio, uh, no, I'm sorry, fuck, no, 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 scratch that. This is, this is like in between of, um, Versace Eros and kind of like Paco Rabanne uh, Invictus, kind of really good scent. I mean, this shit is so good, highly recommend. If you see this, do not pass it up, please, highly recommend this. Um, I did a video of these two, you can do your research, Cambridge Nights English Laundry, really good, uh, find. I know online this one actually it, some people resell it and they sell it for um, for like sixty bucks or something. So if you see on if you see even even if you see it for twenty bucks online, I mean um, in the stores, don't pass it up. Get it for twenty bucks is still worth it. Uh, let me see. I got another English laundry. One uh, one jar per ohm. This one this one is another. Spice bomb, Victor Ralph spice bomb. Um, uh, it resembles it big time. I, in the opening, and then, but then, after the dry down, it kind of it has similarities, but it has it's 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 a different scent, you know. But it does have similarities to uh, spice bomb. This is another great one right now uh, for fall and winter. Let me see what else. Okay, this one right here. Wow. So uh, this one is another f favorite of mine. Uh, English Laundry uh, Signature. This one is floral, powdery. You know, you take uh, you take uh, Berber a Burberry touch and a little bit of Jean Paul Gaultier uh, Lamel, and this is what you get. I mean, not quite, but similarities in the same category. Please don't pass it up. I got it for fourteen ninety nine. Let me see what else I got. Uh, I got this uh, Zero Chrome. I used to wear this. Back in the days, back in the 90s, but I only got, this was, this is just a 30, uh, uh, 30 ml. I just got it just, again, for, because I do these videos and I want something for, you know, on the record, maybe I'll do like an old school fragrance video or something, so I got it. I don't use it, 
but I just have it for you know future videos. Really good office scent. I think I would this would be if I had like a list top five office scents, this would be in it. All right, uh, very fresh, crisp, really sexy. I mean, it's a it's a compliment getter. I mean, it's a mass pleasing, and it's it's not dated at all. It's really really good. It's a safe uh, fragrance. Let me see what else. Okay, this one summertime, perfect for the summertime. Riviera. A lot of people. Some people don't like it. Most people like it. Uh, it's again, it's a summer scent. It's very crisp, fresh. Uh, you know, it's it's up there with the Perrier's Red 360. It's uh, uh, a lot of people. I mean, some people compare it to like kind of like Aqua Di Gio between Aqua Di Gio and Aqua Di Gio Performa. But I say it's in the same category, uh, but not the same scent. But it's really really good. And surprisingly, I'll tell you something about the English Laundry. They're actually really like their performance is decent. It's pretty good. You get three hours projection. I'm, I mean, that's how much I get. Longevity, I, about six hours. I mean, for the price, that's um, that's that's a plus. Uh, another English Laundry one I I really really like. And this one is all the way. Uh, it smells exactly like Versace Eros Oxford Blue. Great, great fragrance. Wow. I mean, this right here and the Cambridge Night for me are neck to neck. And uh, I got these three right here. They, they, I think it came on a four pack. Uh, I had the other one too. I don't know where it is, but um, I think it was tw uh, a four pack. It went for like uh, 19 bucks or something like that. But so, but I had to buy it just again for future videos. Um, this one right here, this one is another powdery, uh, uh, arrogant. It's really, really good. This one is, um, shit, I'm dropping it everywhere. I'm sorry. This one right here is kind of an office scent. You know, it's um, a typical office scent. Uh, it's, uh, I'm not too crazy about it but I have it again just for future videos but these right here this one right here if you see if you see the bigger bottles of these right here get them highly recommend these two right here either or okay another one which I highly recommend this is a real definition of a hidden gem this one right here uh, Beverly Hills Polo Club uh, Ignite oh my god this one is so I mean it's it's not talked uh, talked about. I mean, you can go back. I did a video on this one. Um, people, uh, I doubted it myself a long time ago. I used to pass it up. I used to, but I read the comments. People were surprised. It smells good as shit. Uh, it's it resembles. It's, it resembles exactly like um, Polo Red Intense, right here. Got this one for nine bucks. This is a one point seven ml. Perfect, decent performing bottle. It, it's a, it, 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 it's beast mode. It's surprisingly good. If you see this, please don't pass it up, and keep me updated. If you, if anybody gets these fragrances, keep me updated. I want to, I want to know what you feel. I mean, what, what you think? Okay. Uh, I got this one. Cuba Prestige. This one is a, uh, this one right here went. This is, I think, the cheapest one, six ninety nine for hundred ml. This exactly, it's, it smells like uh, Amen, Angel Man for Terry Mugler, really good buy. It's performance, it's okay. It's not that good, but it's okay for $6.99, it's perfect. Let me see what else I got. I got this one, it's called uh, Cigar. I think this is the Cigar Black, uh, uh, Black Oud or something like this. I'm, I'm sorry, let me... But this one, it's, uh, it's, it's, re it's really good. It's, um, let me show it. Yeah, it's... Uh, it's up there. It's like it really. It's a really dark, rich, you know, kind of Tom Fordish kind of scent. Uh, this is. Uh, let me see if I have the box, but um, I know this is like the black one, the the black oud or something like that. Uh, I bought it. Uh, how much did I buy this one for? I think it was no more than nine ninety nine, uh, give or take. Really good one. If you see this, uh, let me see what else. These two right here. I would say stay away from. It's not the performance sucks, unless if you're a teenager and you're looking for a budget, or uh, you know these right here. Uh, this is Lucky from Lucky Brand, and this is Guess Seductive. Uh, they're not really good. I mean, the smell is okay, good, but half an hour later, the scent is completely gone. It turns into a skin scent after like an hour or two. It's the skin scent is gone as well. Uh, if you're in a budget, if you if you want something, just throw in your gym bag. I got these. I got this one for 14 bucks, which is not worth it. Um, I got this one for nine bucks, which is, I mean, you know, 
car smell, throw it in the car, throw it in your gym bag. That's what it's good for. But stay away from it overall. Uh, let me see. And another ones that I found, I, uh, this is just uh, some something I just wanted to throw out there. Uh, you know how like you go to uh, like CVS, um, CVS Marshall, I mean, I'm sorry, CVS, Rite Aid, uh, Walgreens, so on and so forth, or whatever you have around the area. Don't go there no more. This day, uh, this right here, I got this one for, uh, this is American Crew, which goes for an arm and a leg, almost $20 at those retail stores. I got it for about $8.99. Uh, love this stuff. This is the, the number one pomade. I love this shit. Uh, even Axe, I got this for uh, uh, 4 bucks instead of paying $9 at the CVS or the drugstore, okay? Uh, this cheat whitening stuff that's like charcoal, which really works, really, really works, $2.99. Uh, and deodorants, they got a shit ton of deodorant. I got this one for about $2.99, uh, Eternity, Calvin Klein, they got a variety of these fragrances and... Uh, I got this one for one eighty nine. It was just on sale. Is uh, aftershave Aqua di Gio. Okay. So if you have any questions, please comment down below. Let me know if you if you end up getting any of these fragrances. I'm gonna put a part one for this video with the heavy hitters, the best ones that I found. And anyway, and I just wanted to let you know, you guys, look, it's a hit or miss with these uh, you know, uh, with these fragrances. I'm telling you. But if you're constantly there, if you have a plan, you uh, try to get there. I highly recommend. Shop during the weekday. If you can, try weekdays in the morning. But if not weekday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday are the best times to go to these places, okay? You will find something. You will hit gold. You will hit something. I hit... These are just the low-end ones that I found. But I, I'll, like I said, I'll leave the um, uh, part one of this video with the heavy hitters, all right? Like, comment, subscribe, and thank you so, so, so much.